G'day, this is Simon and James at South OC Cars and Coffee. I normally say perfect weather. Not so much the case today, huh? Bit of wind? It's sunny out, but it's really windy here today. So windy, in fact, that we had to pick up all of our cones from the exotic row because they were blowing all across the parking lot. They were, they were like Ouija cones. They were looking like they were trying to spell something out, moving around all over the place. <laughs> but not to worry. Hey, uh, some cool stuff this morning. What have you seen? There's some awesome stuff. Yeah, so we have a brand new uh, Bentley in the front row, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then we also do have a G550 4x4 squared, that yeah. crazy G-Wagon monster truck, which is nuts. What about yourself? Yeah, there's uh, a Pantera that's been a previous Car of the Week winner. It's got an Aussie 351. The reason it uses an Aussie block, not an American block, apparently the metallurgy is better. Metallurgy, that's a hard word to say so early in the morning. Uh, twin turbo, really cool. Did my hood just close by so itself? Windy that the hood my hood just closed on my Camaro by itself. Uh, and there's a cool hot rod. I, I can't remember what it is. Early, flathead, very, very cool, real classic looking thing. So, hey, uh, let's go for a walk and check it out. First up to check out is this crazy Huracan built by Sheepy Race. It is on all beadlocks, which is one of the first thing I noticed when it pulled in huge turbos as well making right around 2,000 horsepower the guy said that on this this thing is just menacing a really nice flat black wrap on it what an awesome build always great to see brand new cars this is the 2022 Bentley flying spur hybrid big thanks to Jordan for bringing this one out really interesting to see One car I wish we saw a little bit more of at the show here, an SLS AMG, which is a dying breed of Mercedes, unfortunately, the naturally aspirated V8. They killed off pretty much all the NA V8s, I believe. The owner of this car was nice enough to open up the door so we could check out the inside. It has a beautiful red and black leather interior. What a fantastic looking car. This is one car I sure didn't expect to see today. It is a beautiful Porsche GT3 Turbo Cup 991.2. This car is a full track focused build. Massive wing on it, has the nice fender flares and a set of BBSs on it as well. I bet this car is a blast to drive. We just pulled up on this crazy G-Wagon, the G550 4x4 squared. Probably one of the biggest cars that we've ever had in the exotics row. When you look at this thing next to the 458, you realize just how big this car is. I mean, the 458's roof only comes up to the very bottom of the door on this car. Powered by a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 putting over a little over 400 horsepower, and I would imagine that you need every single one of those just to move this kind of car. This is truly a G-Wagon on crack. Always great to have the guys from Polestar here at South OC Cars and Coffee. This is the P2, their first all-electric car. We went to the showcase of the new O2 earlier this week. What an amazing car that is. I think it's one of the prettiest cars I've ever seen. And if that's the future of Polestar, it is a very, very bright future. But this car itself is a really great car too. Really good to drive. Uh, check out their website, polestar.com. This is the Pantera I was talking about earlier. Uh, an amazing car. This thing is uh, twin turbo, uh, from memory it's about 1200 horsepower, 351 still, but using uh, an Australian 351 block um, because the metal metallurgy on the motors apparently was better, but incredibly built vehicle this thing. You can't imagine how fast it is too. Fun little oil can car here. This is pretty cool. This is yours? Yes, sir. Yep. Um, let's talk about this. So right. this is a, just a, a little four stroke on the back? A diesel. A diesel? Yes, sir. That's cool. Oh, a wheelbarrow that I got from a horse farm. Yep. 
and a 55 gallon drum that I had from my other build that I brought out here before. Yeah, I remember the other build as well. This yep. is cool. Yep. So, so uh, good, good gas mileage with the diesel, which is <laughs> good news given the price of gas at the yes, moment, sir. huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. And, and of course, if everything turns pear shaped with the diesel, of course you can run them on vegetable oil as well. So, yes. uh, I love the. Uh, a yep, bit of I represent a, Las Vegas. That's where I'm from. Yeah, that's excellent. Yes, that, sir. And how long did it take you to build it? This one was two months. Oh, that's not bad, is it? No. Uh -uh. That's no. excellent. And top speed? Uh, as fast as you can run. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. Well, that depends. What's chasing you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, then, I, then I'm going downhill. Yeah, right. That's excellent. Hey, thanks for building it and bringing it out. That's great. I love coming out here. It's a great car show. Excellent. Thank you. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Classic old uh, 32, I think, hot rod. Love the flathead V8. And they just look so appropriate in these things. Just leaving us here. I love these classic sort of period correct hot rods like this. Interesting old hot rod here is running a small block Chev. Bits and pieces, putting it together. That's the way hot rods were made, you know? It was like, find what you got around and turn it into something uh, into something cool. But uh, looking for a bit of a rat rod, this thing is actually for sale. <laughs> Big sh solid chassis on it. Another cool old hot rod here, 31 Ford running a flathead once again. Those triple carbs in there. I love these cars that are sort of, don't even sometimes look like hot rods with those wire wheels, you know, they just look like somebody's lowered one of the uh, original cars, but obviously bigger wheels in the back, smaller on the front. This is a hot rod, but it's just designed to look so period correct. How pretty is that in there? Something about these cars with those flatheads, they just sound good. They look good. What a great old thing this is. Beautiful looking Chevy pickup here. This color, uh, I don't know that the camera is going to do it justice. Looking through on the screen, it looks like it's showing it more blue. It's a real aqua color, magnificent color. Uh, great door gaps in the thing, the way it's been built. 
Um, really nice interior, nice bed in it with that wood and, and obviously on air ride as well. Look how this thing is slammed. Just great, great, great stance just sitting here like this, huh? Love seeing things like this. That's it for another weekend here at South OC Cars and Coffee. What a phenomenal event today. Yep. Such, such a great turnout. Huge shout out to all of our sponsors for making this show possible. We have Meguiar's, Polestar, Share Your Car, Next Level Detailing, Pacific Air Cooled, RPM Accessories, Modern Retrofits, and then Teen Road to Safety. And then I just want to give a huge shout out to all of the volunteers as well yeah. for coming out and helping us out each and every week. Remember, if you want to become a volunteer, hit us up on Instagram at South OC Cars and Coffee Merch. That's where we handle all of our merchandise and then all of our volunteers uh, rostering as well. While you're on that page, go check out some of the new designs that we just created. Yep. Uh, we have a ton of stuff coming out for merchandise. If you are a volunteer, here as well you get to bring your car in early before the show opens and then Ruby Santa does also provide a free coffee and donut for everyone helping us out yeah big thank you to Ruby's and Rockwell's of course for feeding the masses and of course outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here please make sure to support all the stores and restaurants in the outlets as a thank you tell them South OC Cars and Coffee send you big thank you also to the city of San Clemente for everything those guys do supporting us as well have a great week we'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee see you guys